and sports. Live from Malibu, this is Newswave 32. Good evening, I'm Josie Leonetti. And I am John Michael Roche. Welcome to this breaking news edition of News Waves. We join you as the second storm of the week is hitting Malibu. This storm arrived later than expected, but is bringing serious concerns of flooding and mud flows. We have teams out covering town. First, let's go to News Waves 32 reporter Emily Tenser at Paradise Cove, one of the seven areas under mandatory evacuation this evening. Emily? That's right, John Michael. I feel like the only thing running through Malibu residents' mind right now is I can't believe we're doing this again. Two months ago was the Woolsey fire, and now today we're dealing with mudslides. Right now I'm at Paradise Cove, which is one of the mandatory evacuation centers or locations here in Malibu. The mobile home and the restaurant had to be mandatory evacuated today, this morning at AM, which was announced last night at City Council. Right now, people are coming and going. There are two cop cars parked down at the entrance by Paradise Cove. And I think there's more traffic now we were down here earlier today. And it was kind of more of a question. There was no rain. Do we leave? Is it really dangerous? But now that the storm is actually beginning to start, people are finally starting to take it seriously. Also down the road is Ramirez Canyon Drive and those adjacent streets. Ramirez Canyon Road is a gated community and they are taking that advice and they are keeping their gate open. If they keep their gate closed, that can potentially leave people trapped behind the gate if the mudslides happen. Along with Ramirez Canyon is Malibu Lake, Escondido Drive, Latigo Canyon, Corral Canyon, El Nido, Escondido Old Chimney, and Malibu West in Trinkus Canyon. Now, Lost Hill Sheriff Station has been working all day, barely sleeping, making sure that they are prepared for today's storm to hit. They even have sheriffs from Carson come all the way to help. Carson sheriffs are stationed down here at Paradise Cove. Now, so far, 225 homes were given mandatory evacuation orders, and there are evacuation centers set up in Agora Hills at the Calabasas Agora Hills Community Center and in Santa Monica High School's South Gym. Now, Newswaves 32 called the Agora Hills Calabasas Community Center, and as of 3 o'clock, no Malibu residents had shown up. But now that they're hoping that the rain is finally starting to pick up and the storm is finally starting to begin, people are taking that seriously and showing up and using those centers for what they need to be used for. Now, the timing of the heaviest rain was delayed, but it's supposed to start tonight. A flash flood rain is in effect until about 11 p.m. for the burn areas of the Woolsey fires. Peak rainfall intensity of about 0.75 to 1.25 inches later this evening as well. Now, this storm is supposed to last Wednesday, Thursday, even into Friday, but the most intense days will be today. And so I will come back to you guys more with more information, but right now the rain has started to actually kind of not be so intense. So we'll see how it happens to hit later tonight. Back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Emily. With the rain coming down, the evening commute could be risky. Let's go to Hannah in our studio. She's been tracking the storm all day. Hannah, what are we in for tonight? Stormwatch is real in Malibu as three heavy storms make their way to the area this week. The second is beginning to soak us right now with the heaviest rain expected at 6 p.m. right at the height of the evening commute. Looking at our satellite, between half an inch and one and a quarter inches of rain is predicted per hour. The heavy rain may cause hazardous mudslides and debris flows. This is always a danger in Malibu and even more so in the burn areas. A total of four and a half inches of rain is possible tonight with winds close to 20 miles per hour. Unfortunately, the rain does not stop tonight as another serious storm is expected to hit around 10 a.m. tomorrow and last until Thursday evening. The three heavy storms are likely to accumulate a total of eight to 10 inches of rain by Thursday evening. There is a flash flood watch in effect for the greater Los Angeles area until 11 p.m. tonight and a high surf advisory in effect until 8 p.m. Friday. This is a warmer storm than yesterday's. Right now, the temperature is in Malibu is 59 with a low of 54 tonight. There is light at the end of the week. We will experience a warm up to the mid 60s by Friday. This weekend should bring partly cloudy skies with no chance of rain. Back to you, Josie at the desk. Thank you, Hannah. Malibu schools in the Santa Monica Malibu Unified School District are closed today due to the dangerous weather conditions. The schools affected include Malibu Middle School and High School, Point Du Marine Science School, Cabrillo Middle School, and Webster Elementary School. 
As of now, Santa Monica schools and Pepperdine University are staying open. We have been in contact with the school district, and they say they will announce tonight through Twitter whether or not Malibu schools will be open tomorrow. With mandatory evacuations underway, shelters are opening up their doors to house animals big and small. Residents can evacuate large animals to Pierce College or Hanson Dam. Pierce College told Newswaves 40 or 32 that 24 horses are currently being sheltered there. Residents seeking shelter for small animals or pets can take them to the Agora Animal Care Center or the Red Cross Shelters in Santa Monica and at the Agora Hills Calabasas Community Center. All locations will be open all night to take in animals. Work is rapidly underway in order to keep the Pepperdine campus and its students safe from expected mudslides. <laughs> Workers put up fences and blockades around Pepperdine's main roads today in preparation for possible mudslides down the campus's burned hillsides. Several upper campus parking lots have been closed off and cars were towed away from those areas. The affected lots include the George Page and Terrace parking lots, as well as designated areas of Huntinger Circle. Mud, mud, and more mud. Crews have been moving out mud out of areas of concern all day. Newswaves 32 reporter Araceli Crescencio is live in the center of town with an update on mud clearance efforts. Araceli? Thank you, Josie and John Michael. As you can see behind me is a pile of mud. This is where trucks have been coming to pour out the mud and debris that they've been collecting all day. Now, LA County does have a way to relieve uh, the basins, but right now with the finding is that it's becoming very hard with back-to-back -back storms. So this is how where they've been dumping the mud and debris. Um, Malibu, uh, the city of Malibu is urging residents to stay up to date on information by visiting their website and following them on their social media. Um, we are seeing that the rain is starting to pick up with a lot more intensity. Uh, we're expecting 1.5 inches of rain, especially on those recent burn scars uh, that the Woolsey fire has left. Uh, now there are flood control structures designed to cut to catch the mud and debris, but before it enters, uh, we have seen that other catch basins at the base of the mountain have been full, especially those uh, by Malibu West. Uh, this is where they're experiencing a hard time um, trying to collect all that mud and debris. Country crews have removed truckload after truckload and they're placing them right here behind me. Um, that is all the information we have for now. Back to you all at the desk. And with that, we'll wrap up our flood coverage watch here for now. Thank you for tuning in. Follow us on social media at Pepper Pep News Waves as we continue to cover the storm and post updates.